Hello YouTube, I'm back again, just today with a basic clock set up in the Ultimate Custom Clock widget. For the purpose of this video, I'll just be making a widget like on my home screen here. So to start off, we will just remove this one. I'm using Apex Launcher, so I simply hold down to make a widget, select widgets. Scroll down to the Ultimate Custom widget. Select that one, and we're going to use just two by two. It doesn't really matter size; you can resize it later. Anyway, here are just my pre-made skins that I use. Well, I have used in the past, but we're going to create a new skin. Last skin to touch here, and then you start off with a blank white canvas. Now, obviously, we don't want a white background, so we will select our background by clicking Select Object and then selecting Background. We'll then change the alpha value which is the opacity. I'm going to turn that one right down to zero. So it's got no background whatsoever. Close that. And then we're going to add a element to the widget by pressing this plus slash minus button here. So press that one. And select. So we're going to use time. Close that. And then we get a little clock here. We then select the clock by going to select object and time. Move the position. So let's move that one over here. You select faster movement, you can move it a little faster. We're just going to move that one about there. We're then going to change the colour to white and the size to something a little more reasonable. I have to just adjust that position a little. Close that off. And then you slide the to the right and again to select typeface. This is your fonts. As you can see here, if you want to add fonts, you can you'll get just the default font to start off with, but if you go into your phone's SD card and make a new folder called fonts and just put all your fonts in there, it'll pop up in here. We're going to use this one here, I believe. Yep. Okay. So that's our clock done, the basic time one. And now we'll add a... the first one was the missed calls widget. So if we add a new widget, add item to the widget, we scroll down, 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 and we select missed calls. Close. That'll just give you a number zero. So, oops. Again, we're just going to change that color to white. Oops. White. Oh, sorry. Select the widget, of course. Change that color to white. And the typeface to the same font we were using before, but we're going to use the less bold version this time. Then go back and change our size, just something like that, and move that one. Down there somewhere. We can adjust that all later. If we now add uh, what we have to do to get the missed calls text is you just want to add a static text, so just any number, number one. And here we can slide to the right, and again, uh, actually where was that? Oh, sorry, select object again. Slide to the right, and we can choose text. Then you can import what you want it to say. So for this one we want missed calls. Ah, sorry, that should be in all capitals. You can play around and do whatever you really want with it. This is just a basic tutorial to show you what what's something you can do with it. We'll then move that one. I didn't actually select the font for that then, did I? No, I didn't. Okay. So I'll just adjust that size a little. You want the same size as the zero, I can't remember what I did, I'm just going to do it rough. And then select faster movement off and do those finer adjustments. I might just make that clock a little bigger too. Move that one back across. Alright, now if we go back to our, start off with our static text and get that lined up. Make that one white. And then move, actually, we'll just check that size, 49. Then move to missed calls. 
So that down to 49. And move it next to the missed calls. So we have our zero missed calls. It's basically the same process for the missed the text messages. So you start off by adding a widget, scrolling down and finding text messages. Add that one, select the text message. Then you'll have to go through and change your colour, your size. position you can also drag if you click in the canvas area and you can drag it around if you want to move it faster obviously it's going to be a closer and then we have to add that static text again select that object change the text to I'm just going to leave this one as messages Okay, we have a keyboard, choose the font, go back and change the size to 49 again. Nope, that's a little too much. And that position. We might just drag it and get it lined up again. Then we'll move, oh, first we'll change that colour to white. Then we'll move to our actual number. No. Text messages. And we'll move that position just next to messages there. Then we're pretty much done. You can just play around with it, get it as perfect or as whatever you want with it. When you're done, you can save the skin by going to save and export skin. But we won't, we're not going to do that, it's, it's just a rough done. And when you're done, you just click the back arrow on your phone, and there's your widget. Oh, sorry, there's your widget. You can resize it. And obviously, it doesn't look as good as my already done one. But if all you have to do is fine tune it, if you click on it again, you can go in and edit that certain widget adjust the size or something and change it around a little bit that's all there is to it it's pretty basic if you go and have a look in the all the things you can actually do with ultimate custom widget you know battery percentages humidity weather icons sh shapes gmail different sections of clocks and tasks is anything you can do anything have a play around and enjoy it Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe. See ya.